out here putting the first load of oats in. It's a little noisy over there by the uh, tractor with the auger running. There's probably 700 bushels in that truck. He just missed it. Dad stumbled when he came out. He just dusted himself off. As my friend, from my friend Mullane, if you watch it, he, was, he picked himself up and he dusted himself off. So now he's raising the bed up. So more of the oats will come out. This tractor here is running this auger to get it up into the top. So as he tips that up, might be noisy here. So the auger's in there, through here, and on the PTO of the tractor, on up. So he's constantly adjusting how much flow is coming out. You don't want to overload this hopper. Not much overflow. So 700 bushels times 32 pounds per bushel, 20 some thousand pounds. Let's go over here and look. I don't know if the yield's going to be the same, so eventually that bed will tip all the way up to get it all out. And once that's empty, we'll, I'll go combine some more and we'll fill it up and he'll bring it back over here. So this is the bin. I don't know if it's going to show up. The grain comes in. Those are all vents up there. In the center, there's a grain spinner. So it's basically like it's raining grain. And that distributes the grain. I don't know if it's going to show up falling down. Yeah, you can see it coming down in the video. The idea is to spread it out evenly so that it dries the air that comes, the perforations in the floor. And those are the stumps for the unload auger, those little holes in the floor. So eventually the grain gets unloaded from the center. Although I see there's a pile developing in the center. Not spreading it super. There's going to be a hump in the center. But it doesn't get all the way, the spreader doesn't go all the way out to the outside edges. So I got to do all this by hand and push it out. Uh, that's the power sweep. To get that final bit when you unload it. I don't know why that thing doesn't spread evenly. Maybe there's a high speed and a low speed. Maybe I need another. Maybe I think it's a two speed one. Maybe I don't have the right speed on it. I'll have to play around with that. But you can kind of see the grain here, and then it gets deeper, and in the center there's a hump. In any of that. So we'll do that, we'll do this process, I don't know, 10 more times over the course of today and oh, I've got a bunch of family members who are having a uh, celebration of my parents' uh, existence, I guess, or 50 or 100 people are coming over to their house on Sunday, so I'm looking forward to that. If any of you end up watching this, hello from the past to the future. Cold today. Probably about 60 degrees, 55.